Zambians had their last day of mourning today as they prepare for their president's funeral tomorrow. Michael Sata died in London on 28th October after a long illness. William Vogel reports from the capital, Lusaga. The last Thanksgiving service before Michael Sata is finally laid to rest. Arms of the state, broader civil society, politicians past and present, all here to pay tribute to a second sitting Zambian president to die in office within six years. Something that's not lost on the people of this country. It's not normal for any country to lose its leaders in such quick succession, and uh, I'm very sad about that. It's really unfortunate that um, we have lost our president, and um, he did what he could for this country under the circumstances. A man can only do their best. A man or woman can only do their best to save their country. I think he did his best to save uh, our country. <laughs> President Sata made his last appearance here on September 19 in the National Assembly building behind me. He was so ill, he couldn't even finish his address. With his party's succession battle having already reared its head, many here are hoping that whomever succeeds him will have the nation's interests at heart. President Sata's body will lie in state until tomorrow's burial. Vuyom Voko, SABC News, Lusaka, Zambia.